Hi guys, welcome back to Avalon Karate's online classroom. My name is Nathaniel Biso, and I'll be your instructor today. So, heel skate, stand straight, ray, bow. Okay, so as usual, we're going to start our warm up. Today's warm up is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be uh, very lower body focused because today's topic is going to be focusing mostly on the lower body. So, first things first, bouncing on this box. Very easy. Good. Now, swing your arms. Good. Other way. Good. Elbows. Out like so. Good job, everyone. Excellent. Hips. Hands on your hips. Now like you're swinging a hula hoop around. Other way. Good. Hands on your knees, bend forward and back. Good. Now left, back, right, back, left, back, right, back. Good. Ankles, either on the ground or in the air. Other way. Other ankle. Other way. Good, now here is one that we haven't done in a while. You're going to lunge forward like so. One leg is bent, one knee is almost on the floor. Don't touch the floor. Back and switch. Make sure your back, upper back and lower back is straight. Switch. Switch. Good. Now, you're going to want to put one foot out. Spread your legs a little bit like so. Okay. Now, you're going to take your hands and you're going to reach down to the floor, straight down. Move your arms to one leg. Try and touch your ankle. Other way. Good, hands back to the center, a little bit further, out to one side, other way, good, now come up slowly, you're going to want to put another leg out again in that lunge position that we had, but this time put your knee on the floor, okay, and you're going to want to lean forward, rock forward and back like so. Good. Switch, other leg. Good. Now, from here, stay kneeling on the floor. You're going to want to push your knees out as far as they can go. And just stay here. Perfect, looks great guys. Okay, bring them back in. Stand up slowly. Now opening the gate, knee up and out. Other leg, up and out. Good, now out and in. Other leg, out and in. Good. Everybody reach up nice and tall and shake it out. Good job, guys. That concludes our warm up for today. Uh, grab a quick drink and I'll see you for the start of our lesson in a minute. Welcome back guys. So today's lesson is all about balance. 
It's very important to have balance when we're doing karate techniques, especially when we're standing on one leg to kick. So I'm going to show you guys a couple simple drills that you guys can use to work on your balance. So first thing I want to mention, if you're going to stand on one leg, you want to make sure that your foot, your belly button, and your head are all in line. Okay, you want all your weight on this one leg. So look what happens when I move my weight on the one leg. My head is between my feet, but when I move my weight onto one leg, my head is lined up with my foot. That's what you guys want to do. So first things first, move your legs out a little bit and you're gonna to wanna to stand on one leg. Good, get your knee as high as you can. Now switch, good, switch, good, switch. Now, see if you can hop and switch. Hop and switch, keep your balance. 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 Good, nice job. So now what I want you to do, stand on one leg and tilt your head out to the side. Watch, stand on one leg, tilt your head out to the side. Good, other leg, stand on one leg, tilt your head out to the side. Good. If you have good balance, you may be able to stay up. Try it again. But this time, stick your arm out to the direction that you're leaning. Knee, head, arm. You should notice that you most likely fell down. Try the other leg. Knee up, head, arm. So it's important to realize that if our arm is stuck out or is too far away from our body, we're going to fall. So you want to keep your arms real close to your body so that when you stand on one leg, tilt your head, you have a better chance of not falling over. So now that we've worked on balance, let's try a couple kicks. You're going to want to stand on one leg and do a side kick. Ready? Right leg first. Look, lift, stand on one leg, kick, and back. Good. Other leg, look, lift, kick, and back. Good. Now, let's try a little drill. You're going to want to lift your leg, kick low, middle, and high. Then put your foot down. Ready? Lift, low, back, middle, back, keep your balance. High, back, put it down. Good, and it doesn't need to be super hot. Try the other leg. Look, lift, low, back, middle, back, high, back, and down. Good, nice job. So keep working on your balance and your kicks. You can do this for all different types of kicks. You can do it for your front kicks as well. Lift, low, back, middle, back, high, back. Okay, so all the different types of kicks. See how many you can get. You need to set a personal record. So if you can stand on one leg and do 10 kicks, that's great. See if you can get 11, 12, 13. The more kicks you can do while keeping your balance, the better. So it's time for a quick water break, guys. Go grab a drink and I'll see you in a second. Okay, welcome back guys. So now that we've worked on balance, I wanna show you a little hidden trick that is important that we know when we're trying to lift our leg to kick. So I've set up a little uh, uh, training tool here. Right now, my stick is touching my hip. Watch what happens when I lift my leg. 
it creates distance between the stick and my hip. That distance will allow me enough time to lift my leg, block whatever the attacker is trying to hit me with, a punch or a kick, and kick them back. So it's important that I have good balance because if I lift my knee to get away from an attack and fall over, this person might still chase me. So you guys need to practice lifting your knee to create distance. Watch, the stick is touching, I lift, it creates distance, okay? It's a benefit of lifting your knee. Because if I just kick, watch, if I just kick, I'm not creating distance between myself and the stick, okay? So remember, lift, good balance, kick, okay? So this is something that you guys can try at home. Have mom or dad hold out their arm or something that can touch you and have it touch you so that way you can practice lifting, creating distance, and then kick. Okay? That's a nice little training tool that you guys can use at home. And I thought I'd just mention it because there's a little secret about kicking and lifting your knee that not too many people know. All right, so last drill of the day with kicking. Just gonna move this out of the way. The last drill today with the kicking is to see how many different types of kicks you can do while standing on one leg. So pick your best leg now. Good. So you're going to want to stand on your good leg and kick. First, we're going to do a, a front kick. Ready? Front kick. Back. Good. Side kick. Back. Good. Now here's a tricky one. Roundhouse kick. Back. Good. Now back kick. Back. Good. I got through all four kicks. See if you guys can get through all four kicks. Try it again with me. Ready? Lift. Front kick. One. Side kick. Two. Roundhouse kick. Three. Come back. Back kick. Four. Good. Nice job, everyone. So today's lesson was all about balance. Balance is important. It offers us a bunch of different opportunities when defending ourselves, creating distance, having choices when we chamber our leg. These are all really good things to have good balance with. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson. Practice having good balance at home, and I'll see you on Wednesday for our next karate lesson. Have a good day, everyone. Kyosuke, Ray. Good job.